Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a tutorial on this fancy little object right here. This is a Revlon hair crimper and guys, it is like one of my favorite tools right now. I talk a lot about it throughout the video so I'm not going to go into a ton of detail right now. But anyways, this is how I got my hair to look like this today. Yeah, I just did it. So it's usually a little bit tighter at first. Um, throughout the day, it falls a tiny bit. That's just because my hair is so heavy. And I kind of like that because I like it to be a little bit more like beachy wavy. Um, but yeah, you can do so many different things once your hair is at this point. I talk about that in the video. So let's just get into it and I'll show you guys how I did this. If you enjoy these types of videos or hair tutorials, give this video a thumbs up and let me know if there's any type of tool or anything else that you'd like to see me review and I totally will. But let's just go. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the Revlon hair crimper. Laura Lee talked about this on her YouTube channel about like a ton of things that she got from Amazon that she really, really enjoyed. And I was like, hey, that kind of looks cool. Her hair looked really cute. So I ordered it and I love it. I get the cutest like crimped beach waves with it. And it's just my favorite thing to use when I want like a really different cute look. So it has an on and off switch and there has different temperatures. I usually use the highest because I have really, really thick hair and that just works best for me. I'm gonna section off my hair to show you how I would use it. So I usually start with like the very bottom section of my hair. So I put up the majority of my hair. Don't mind this, I'm gonna look crazy for a minute. So I usually pin up and just leave like this much down, split it between the two sides. How I use this is like there's this back part, right? And there's the front barrels. When crimping your hair, you want the back part, the barrels to be in the front and the back part to be behind your hair. I normally take a section about like this much and I don't like to start right at the root. I start like about like this much down. So I leave about this much from my root. Like I said, this part will be on the bottom. So I put that part on the bottom like so and I just squeeze and I let it sit there for maybe like three to five seconds and then I release and I go you can kind of see where the next barrel should sit where that wave is so I grab it again and squeeze and when it's done I go down again squeeze and then one more time down again squeeze and then if you need to do the last couple pieces you can do those so it just creates a really cute crimped beach wave look. So then I put the pieces that I did in the front and I grab another section and I just keep going and I do the same exact thing. So again, going down further from the hair, grabbing, crimping it, making sure that bottom plate is behind the hair. The barrels are on top, I'm done. Go down, grab it again. Then again, go down, grab it again, and then one more time, go down and grab it again. And after each section is done, I will hairspray my hair just to make sure that that's set in place. So again, this is the last section in this section. So then this section is done. So I'm just gonna use the Bedhead um, Masterpiece hairspray. I just grab the pieces and spray them. Now I'm gonna move on to this side. I just put that hair back there and go again. Take a section and you can do your sections like as thick or as thin as you want them. You don't have to grab as much as I do. You can split it and grab tinier sections, but just grab the section and again, barrel, barrels on top, plate underneath, about halfway down or not halfway, maybe like a quarter of the way down and you just put the hair in, squeeze it. And then after you think it's good, lift up, go down to where you see that next like bump and put this top one in that bump. That's what I do. I do that just to make sure that it's all in the right area. So you see this bump like right here. So I'm gonna take the top barrel and put it in that bump. And then my last one, lift up and go in that bottom. And that is what I will continue to do throughout my whole head. I will usually split it 
into um, one more section and I'll show you how I'll do that. I'm gonna hairspray this section here. Then I'm gonna go to then one more section before I'm done. Like, so I'll have two more sections. I'm only gonna split it one more time. So I'll go like middle of my forehead back and put all of this up, split my hair again, and I kind of just sit here and like separate it from what was already done. So this is what I have to do this time. So then for this last section, I'm just going to do the same thing, split the hair, just gather up all the pieces from this last section and leave down what's already done. I feel like this kind of helps clump everything together. I just brush it between my hands like so. And if you have to, put the rest of your hair behind. And then for my last section, I always start in the back. Just feel like it's easier to keep track of like what I've already done and what I haven't done. So I'm gonna start by grabbing a section from back here. And again, start halfway down and finish out the hair. For this very front piece that I'm going to do, um, I usually start a little bit further down, so like maybe here, just because I want a little bit less right in front of my face. And then the same thing on this last section, I'm going to grab all of the hair that was not already done and brush it between my hands. And then again, I'm going to start in a back section back here. One other random little tip that I have is when I'm doing it, so I squeeze, after I let it sit there, and I drop it, I like to kind of scrunch the curls up with the tool a little bit, and I'll show you what I mean. So this part's done, so I'm gonna go to the next one and do that. You see how I'm like kind of scrunching it up, like lifting my hair? I feel like that kind of helps it all, like that you just did, lift and like stay. So I'll show you again. I'm gonna go down, and I grab it, and then I kind of just lift up those curls. It's better than like pulling, doing like this, because then you're kind of like defeating what you already did. So again, I go down and I just lift up those curls. You don't want to pull them because that's going to kind of like straighten them back out because they are still hot. I only have about two more pieces to do here. Okay, and again, this being the last piece and the first piece in front, I'm going to go a little bit further down. Okay, and that is pretty much it, guys. So I'm just going to spray these sections that I just did in this section two. So now from here, you can just definitely leave it and let it have like a really curly, crimped look like this. A lot of times, what I will do is just kind of run my hands through just to make it a little bit less like crazy, just so it's a little bit more wavy and it's not so like looking. 
So I'll just take my hands, run it through like so, shake the hair a little bit. You can spray it more, do whatever. And from here you can do a lot of different styles. You can do half up, half down. You could even like take it all and for a fancy event, pin it over and then you have like these pretty like beach waves over here. You can do so many different things once your hair has like this little like crimped curl. But I just love it. I wear this out a lot when my husband and I go out or when we're just going out for like a family function. I'll do this to my hair and it lasts too. Like I can sleep on it. I've sleep slept on it a few different days. Sometimes I wake up and it still looks a lot like this. Other times it just has turned into like a really light beach wave. But either way, I'm always really happy. Like I can keep it for a couple days. And sometimes I just have to touch up a couple pieces or I just leave it and kind of just spray it and let it go. So yeah, this was like super cheap. I think this was like 20 something. I'd say that it's super, super worth the money. I love it, got it off Amazon and I will link, leave the link down below. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed. And if you enjoy these types of like hair tutorial videos, let me know. I'm not an expert on hair, but I do like to play around with hair tools and do things and find new things that I really, really enjoy. So anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed and give this video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications on and we'll see you guys next time.